Hello everyone, my name is David Pika, post-harvest horticulturalist with the LSU Ag Center. Uh, today I'd like to focus on the post-harvest aspects of uh, blueberry management. Uh, there's a lot of links in the value chain to producing blueberries, but one of the most important links in the chain is what we do with the crop after harvest. That's very critical in order to maintain its nutritional quality and in order to maintain its market quality and its post-harvest shelf life. There are certain key steps that we must do to have good quality, consistent, high quality nutritious blueberries for an extended period of time. We start with harvesting the blueberries at the proper stage of maturity. All the fruit must be completely blue before it's harvested. They will not turn color during, during storage, so we have to make sure that the entire skin of that blueberry is blue uh, prior to our harvest. The other thing is we want to make sure that the blueberry has reached its maximum uh, size. In many cases, the market nowadays commercially wants between a minimum of one gram of blueberries uh, up to maybe two and a half to three grams. But we really don't want to be picking for commercial sales blueberries less than about one gram size. They should be completely blue. Then when we do harvest them, we want to touch the fruit just one time. We want to pick it very delicately, very gently with the uh, two fingers and a thumb and carefully mo remove that blueberry from the plant and put it into its final retail market container. In many cases, that final retail market container is a six ounce, 170 gram clamshell, which is kind of the standard for retail marketing of blueberries. Now, of course, if we do uh, for home gardening or if we do uh, for farmer's markets, then there's some other options that we can use for uh, harvest containers. Another very important aspect of blueberry post-harvest management is to remove that field heat as soon as possible after harvest. We do want to start that process hopefully within an hour after harvest and we want to ideally remove that field heat to a final temperature close to 32 degrees Fahrenheit, ideally between 32 and 34 degrees Fahrenheit. If we do that, uh, harvest the blueberries completely blue, or very gently in terms of removing the blueberry from the, from the, from the bush, uh, putting them into the retail container, start that cooling process, ideally forced air cooling, get good internal circulation of cold air, removing that field heat down to about 32 uh, to 34 degrees Fahrenheit, that blueberry has a potential market life of up to two weeks, which is a fairly long period of time. Significantly longer than something like a raspberry or a blackberry, which would be maybe seven days. So with proper post-harvest management practices, removal of the field heat, maintaining that temperature between 32 and 34 during transport and distribution of marketing the blueberries, we can have up to 14 days of good, high-quality, nutritious uh, Louisiana blueberries.